company and Larry Fink hold such power? Why is it that you have not heard of them more? There is power in anonymity. If BlackRock is barely featured in print publications and news channels, it is because they want it to be so. If they wanted, they could feature every day. BlackRock currently owns 18% of Fox, 16% of CBS, and 13% of Comcast, which in turn owns NBC, MSNBC, and Sky. If any of those companies wanted to make a decision, they would have to also consult with BlackRock before doing so. The same is true for Google, a tech giant currently worth 800 and 53 billion dollars. Amazon, Facebook, and Twitter are also not exempt. And neither is Disney. Thanks to their incredibly diverse investment portfolio in media alone, BlackRock essentially owns 90% of the world's media. If you don't know about them, it's because they don't want you to. Why? Owning a portion of the world doesn't come without its share of scandal or conflict. In 2020, BlackRock became the first foreign company to be allowed into China's mutual fund industry, which means they can now invest and own parts of Chinese companies, including ones that are blacklisted by the United States. One of the first investments made by BlackRock was in Hiki Vision, a security and communications firm that essentially makes facial recognition software for use by the Chinese government. But this money isn't just BlackRock. BlackRock's or Larry Fink's. It comes from pension funds and bank accounts of ordinary civilians who have unknowingly given money to BlackRock in the past. If we take into account BlackRock's ownership over Western media, banks, e-commerce stores, social media, food and beverages, and many, many more industries, it becomes evident that the company has a wealth of data on us. They may do with it what they please. TikTok's data harvesting pales in comparison to what BlackRock is capable of given how they have everything from our bank account numbers to our personal tastes and preferences. As BlackRock's investment in China grows, so will China's influence on the world. And our personal data, which was hanging on a thread to begin with, will quickly end up in the wrong hands. With the trajectory BlackRock has been on, it's